All right, so here's the plan. We open a monster taqueria and call it Chalupa Cabra. But we don't just sell food. We take over the entire drug distribution network in Santo Ileso. Here, it's all about the food trucks. My friend Chuy knows the business inside and out. And he makes a killer michelada. He'll show you how it works. All the traffic in town moves through four trucks. Weenie, Twisty, Sammy, and the King. Nothing a few rockets and a Molotov can't fix. True. Or we could steal each truck and all its product and put it to work for us. Even better. Where do these guys roll? I've got Jimmy following the King right now. I'll put you in touch. Okay, look, there's nothing cool about toxic waste. It's gross, it's probably gonna kill you, but that green stuff's gonna make us rich. Big companies drive their toxic waste here and pay us big bucks by the barrel. Then we dump it on the cheap. Now, my man with the plan is Jersey Dan. He did time for this kind of shit, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll fill you in. Dan, where are the trucks? Well, turns out we gotta get the trucks ourselves. Well? Why don't the customers bring them here? Our customers are respectable captains of industry. They don't want to be associated with the likes of us. Then to hell with them! Now hear me out. For an additional transport fee, I arrange to have them leave the trucks at places around the city. All you gotta do is drive them here. Fine. I'll get the trucks. And that's how you lead by example. I put the first one on the map for you. Shady Oaks Medical Clinic. Now I know what you're thinking. None of us have medical degrees, but that's okay. Because the whole thing is a front, see? We just have to look legit enough for insurance companies to pay us lots of money for fraudulent claims. Now here's my friend Tamira. She knows all the angles of the insurance game. Go talk to her, and she'll help us get the ball rolling. Howdy, Tamira. You ready to get to work? Sure am. My automated claim generation code is ready for beta testing. What's that now? It produces fake records and documents based on real-world data. It should be good enough to fool the fraud detection algorithms. That sounds really complicated. How about I just throw myself in front of cars and trucks? And the harder they hit me, the more money we get? Sure, if you want to die. With my system, all we got to do is push a button. How about I do insurance fraud my way and you do it your way? You're the boss. Just be careful out there. The boss is the best boss I ever. Now, legit repo companies won't touch a job that's too risky or shady or weird. But we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. We don't need contracts or documentation. If a customer wants it back, we get it back. Cash up front, no questions asked. My friend Amanda just lost her bounty hunter license, and she's really good at finding things that don't want to be found. She's also a total badass, so be nice. Amanda, where's your crew? They're all out on repo jobs. Got so many orders coming in, we can't keep up. Then why don't you send some my way? I'll take care of them. Sure. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, you can use that tow truck over there. Now, where should I start? I'll send you the addresses. Just, you know, give me a call whenever you grab the goods. Check out this prime real estate. We've got a Max, Sunstroke Video, the grocery store, and in the middle of it all, our very own laundromat. Sure, we wash clothes here, but we also offer full-service crime scene cleanup. You know, 
for people who don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Winston here's the best. When I first moved into our old place, he cleaned all the blood stains out of that carpet. He is a master. Hey, Winston. You got everything you need? Sure do, boss. We got disinfectants, solvents, three kinds of acid, anything you might need to make a crime look like it never happened. Hot damn. How about the crew? They're a little green around the horns, but they know what to do. Well, if things get complicated, I'm just a phone call away. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. To disrupt the market, we gotta be proactive. With this startup incubator, we'll turn ideas into IPOs. This house has everything our inventors need to build the future. And guess who I got to run this ship? Chloe fucking Morris. <laughs> Man, if you haven't seen her talk, you haven't lived. Her last venture went down hard, so she's hungry for a win. Howdy, Chloe. How we doing here? Good. Our first product just entered Alpha. When can I see it? Today, if you want to help with testing. Do I need a helmet? Nah, you're good. Just head on over to the field lab. I'll send you the location. I'm recruiting... Man, I don't even know where to start with Cutting Edge. We don't just make clothes, we make clothes out of stuff they never made clothes out of before. Just have Edith explain it to you. The fashionistas won't work with her no more because her stuff's so freaking weird. But, you know, we got a thing. Hey, Edith, you need anything? Always. Now listen carefully. What I see in my mind's eye inspires my work, but the mind cannot render detail, color, or texture. That's why I must have you. Uh, have me what, exactly? Find the thing I picture in my mind, then capture its essence in a photograph. But I'm not a mind reader. Don't be absurd. I've shared with you my vision journal. The rest is up to you. Okay, but this better be worth it. Oh, I may infuriate, but I never disappoint. A new fortress arises, a stronghold forged from the mightiest duct. All shall fall under the shadow of our new house, Sandy Kraken. School thyself in the mysteries of the prophecy. Here our destiny is foretold in the writing of the ancients. Herodor the Sage is master of law and wise counselor. He paveth our road to victory. Heed his smart word. Hail Bosonius! Lore Master, we seek your counsel. The Kraken shall sit upon the dusty throne. So says the prophecy. Then I shall attack the Dust King. Patience, Bosonius. We must first gather strength. I will not cower behind these walls. We shall attack, and our courage will draw the bravest warriors to our cause. A bold plan. But how? We lit the beacon of House Tapeworm and defeated their armies in battle. Could we not do the same to the Phoenix and the Dust Storm? Aye, it is as you say. Then let us find their beacons, and light them, and prove we are worthy of the prophecy. Cavanaugh County, we're coming at you live all the way from Cactus World Headquarters in beautiful Santo Eliso. That's right, you're listening to KAKTS, dominating the airwaves with 9 million gigawatts of pure pistol packing radio power. It's me, Jack, the Cactus King, sovereign of the Saguaro Prince of the Prickly Pear, humbly at your service. Come on over and say hello. Hey, what can I do for you? Just checking in. Making sure Jack ain't up to his old tricks, huh? Old tricks? Interference with cell transmissions. That's what it says on my rap sheet. You can do that? Sure. Got everything I need right here. 
So if I'm in a fight and someone calls for backup, you can block the call? Ah, it's only a federal offense. Then shit, let's do it. Huh? Um, hold on. We gotta map the cell towers first. Figure out which calls are going where. Okay. Uh, but how? Well, say you wanna fuck with the idols. First thing you're gonna do is call them up and call them out. Make them come at you hard. So when they call for backup, you trace the call? Exactly. Keep the fight up long enough, I can map the whole network. And then what? And then you get up in each tower and plant one of these jammers they'll give you. On the tower? Like, at the top? How do I get up there? I don't know. But up ain't the hard part. It's down that's gonna kill you. run a criminal empire, why not get into arms trafficking? I mean, we need all those weapons anyway, so let's buy in bulk and move the product ourselves. If Los Panteros can do it, why can't we? So, I got Sergeant Vicario to come work for us. She was in the guard and knows all the suppliers and buyers. She'll hook us up. How's her inventory? We're armed to the teeth, but supply's easy. Demand's where we gotta bring our A-game. It's buyer's market, huh? Everyone and their grandma's running guns these days. We need a killer pitch. Leave that to me. I'll blow stuff up, show off our merchandise. We can stream it live to our customers. <laughs> now you're talking. Nina tells me no one can blow up shit better than you. I'll call you when I'm ready. Planet Saint sells our very own line of designer clothes and accessories. We're building a brand so people can look and smell just like us. Now, running this kind of operation is complicated because merch doesn't just magically appear on the shelves. It's all about logistics. That's why I hired Spike, my B-School buddy. He's a dapper motherfucker and knows all the ins and outs. He'll tell you what's up. Right now, as we speak, there's a cargo ship docked in the port of Chihuahua. So? So. All our merch is on that boat. But the store's full. Not for long. And that boat ain't gonna be here for another three weeks. So we need inventory. Yeah, if we want to stay in business. What about Bianca Columba? She ain't gonna work for us. She doesn't have to. Her clothes do. Oh, I see where you're going. Her trucks are running all over town. All I gotta do is steal them. Then we sell our threads up here in the store. Just until our boat comes in. Let's pretend's got everything we need to throw the ultimate party. Costumes, masks, and a shit ton of crate paper. You know what else you can do with a mask? That's right, armed robbery. So, let's put our inventory to work for us. Now here's my butt, Joni Utah. She and her crew got talent, but they're green. They need a mentor. Someone to show them the ropes. Like you. Hey, Joni, how's our crew? Good. Just about ready for the first job. Who made the team? I've got Ronnie on security, Dickie's on the safe. I handle crowd control. Anyone on getaway? No one yet. Our driver's in the hospital, so we need a sub. I'll fill in for now. What else? Ronnie says we need more recon. Then how about I have a look at the target? I'll send you photos. Thanks. That should make Ronnie happy. Lots of new recruits, but most of them can't fight for shit. With First Strike, we'll train an army of stone-cold, badass saints. Then, we muscle into the protection business. But, you'll need to do the heavy lifting till we get there. The Sensei worked for Los Panteros till he and Sergio had a falling out. But, their loss is our gain. Go say hi. 
A rival dojo runs protection in Santo Ileso. They call themselves the Final Fist. Final Fist, huh? How do we find them? The dojo is well hidden, but they have four wealthy patrons. They pay Final Fist, and in return, the dojo protects them. So we convince the patrons to back us instead. We get paid, Final Fist is finished. Our students lack the discipline to fight them. They need more training. You handle the training. I'll deal with Final Fist. Nothing says we've arrived like a giant purple skyscraper. Stairs are great for leg day, but the elevator's faster. It'll take us all the way to the top. You got everything you need up here to change your clothes, your loadout, even your face. This place is nice. Whoa, check out the helipad. I dare you to wingsuit off that. You know, when you get tired of all your helicopters and gunships. And for day-to-day -day ops, we hired Vivian. She's run high-rises all over the world. Hong Kong, London, even the Marshall Building. Fuck Marshall. It's our turn now. We can see our whole empire from up here. Santo Ileso is ours. Congratulations. Thanks, Viv. You've built your empire. Now what? Now, we celebrate. And this time, I ain't getting murdered. Shall I make the arrangements? Nah, I got it covered. We're having it down at the church. Where it all started. Sure. And the carpet's here brand new, so, uh, you know. I appreciate that. Hey, you should come. But don't tell Eli Kevernina. It's a surprise. Of course. We're going out for a drive now. I'll catch you later. 